Did I just mangle this? Was, did this box have a huge gash in it before I started? Good thing the box isn't the important part. This video is sponsored by TP-Link and we're gonna be looking at the Deco BE-10, <coughs> excuse me. I mean the Deco BE-63. I've been told it's this, not this, but who cares. It's a whole home Wi-Fi 7 mesh system that promises speeds of over 10 gigabit per second, which not that long ago, I would have said, TP-Link, you can take your lies and take your money and get out of here. But Wi-Fi 7 is freaking amazing to the point where I actually believe that with this system, you could probably push 10 gigabit per second of networking through it. Let's talk about that in a moment. First, let's take a look at what's included in their three pack of these. You get three of these little nodes and on the outside, we've got a WPS button for quick setup, a USB port so you can attach network storage, a power inlet with included power brick, which you can't take for granted these days, folks. And this is pretty exciting to me. Okay, yeah, I'm supposed to focus on the Wi-Fi here, but two and a half gig networking across the board, every one of these has four 2.5 gig ports. So if you had something like a high powered home NAS or um, multiple people who wanna be able to download games at the maximum speed that their state of the art CPU allows, this is gonna let them do it. And what's cool is that by having this loadout on all of the nodes, you're not limited in terms of where you can have these multiple fast machines that are interacting with each other. Another really cool technology that TP-Link includes with the Deco 10,000 is the ability to use either wired backhaul, wireless backhaul, or a combination of wired and wireless backhaul. And when I say backhaul, what I'm trying to say is, only one of these can be connected directly to the internet. Let's say this one. That means that any device that's connected via Wi-Fi to this guy, say on the second floor, is going to have to bounce between this unit to this unit to get to the internet. So that can be done over a wire, over wireless, or through a combination, depending on what's convenient for your install. If it's only Wi-Fi, it can be pretty problematic. Although on these, I would be a lot less worried about it because they have got, Though on these, I'd be a little less worried about it because they've got some pretty sick Wi-Fi. Let's get them plugged in and then I'll show you what I mean. Or rather, let's connect one of our Deco BE63s to start while we go through the quick installation guide. Oh, by the way, the last thing included is this flat ethernet cable. Indicator LED on the bottom. Unconventional. Okay, no, I get it. You can, yeah, okay, you can kind of see it. I was like, really guys? <laughs> you can't see the indicator. Okay, fine. I'll allow it. The main benefits of Wi-Fi 7 are that it's faster, lower latency, and allows more devices to be connected concurrently, and it achieves this in a number of ways. First of all, it uses more sophisticated 4K QAM signaling. It uses wider channels, up to 320 megahertz on the six gigahertz band, and, oh, by the way, it uses the new uncongested six gigahertz band, which does have some slight drawbacks in terms of range, but vastly outperforms the five gigahertz and especially 2.4 gigahertz bands. The last thing that's really important, and this is supported by the BE63, though not all Wi-Fi 7 devices necessarily work with it, at least not yet, is support for MLO or multi-link operation. This allows it, even ignoring the wired connection, to use 2.4, 5 gigahertz, and 6 gigahertz at the same time to support a devices for absolutely wild speeds. Now, as you can see, administration of your Deco mesh system is done through the Android or iOS app, so let's go ahead and get it set up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just telling me, hey, do your thing. You know, and I'm like doing my thing over here and we're all happy. Connected device, yeah, let's go. Connection successful. What more could you want? Everyone wants a successful connection. I've got mine. What's up, Yvonne? She's not watching this. She doesn't need new Wi-Fi. And if she did, I'd take care of it for her. I have my flaws, but I, I will take care of the Wi-Fi if it's down. <laughs> Custom. Uh, SC set. Here we go. Done. It's detecting my internet connection type. I'm on dial-up, yo. It's... Ethernet cable is not connected. See, Sven told you, Bell. He told you it wasn't connected. 
try that again, shall we? If you're unsure, if you did the advanced settings, it did the Oh, that's cool. You can just turn IPTV on like that. It was a bit of a hassle for um, Electro Boom's upgrade. We had to do some kajiggering in order to get it working. Create your Wi-Fi network. This is a really bad password. Do not use this. Look, it even tells me. It's like, yo, you're an idiot. But they said it really politely. Ooh, six gigahertz. Automatic updates. Love, oh wait, oh, I almost skipped it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, automatic updates, please. Unable to, try again. It's gonna do it this time. No, it's gonna do it this time. 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 So basically, they lied to me by having no internet in these tubes right here. Hey, my deco is set up now that I have an internet in my tubes. All right, all we gotta do is power up these other boys. Well, you know what? Maybe we'll do that another time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, first, I wanna see what kind of internet speed we can get out of this one. Okay, no, no, yeah, that, that, was, that was just on the deco. Okay, okay, that freaked me out a little bit. I was like, whoa, I mean, Wi-Fi 7's really fast, but it's not that fast. Okay, cool. That means our two and a half gig port is working. Good. Now, let's test our Wi-Fi speed. All right. Now it's worth noting that we could be limited by the speed of the servers we connect to here, but theoretically, if we were able to test over the wire at 2.3 gigabit per second, this should be pretty fast. Oh, that's not really as fast as I expect. Oh, that's a little faster. Hello, 850 megabit per second upload. Uh, okay, that really, that really wasn't that fast. Am I missing something here? Ah, I wasn't missing something, but maybe our Pixel 8 was. When we turned on MLO, performance increased dramatically. And when we switched out to a OnePlus 12, it got even better. And it's worth noting that that's here in our office where there's a lot of interference from our regular APs. So your results may be even better than our own. Around one gigabit per second, up and down to a single client. And that is only a fraction of its power. I mean, to get the most out of it, you wanna have multiple clients connected to it. Okay. My daily driver phone, probably not gonna move the needle, but hold on, let's see. Okay, this is where you're gonna get really even more impressed because I bet these results are gonna be basically the same even with two phones hitting it at the same time. Okay, so I'm gonna let this one start going. I'm gonna let it start going. And then you're gonna see that that is not gonna be impacted by this one. Check this out. Already with just two devices, we're sitting at aggregate of what? Like 1200 megabit per second down and like 1700 up. That is freaking crazy. No one else seems impressed. TP link, they're, they're impressed. They're like, good job Linus, you demoed the product. Yup, that's what it does. Actually, it does more than that. So let's go ahead and connect a couple more of these units here. Obviously, this is not how I would recommend setting up a mesh network. You wanna have these devices close enough that they are able to wirelessly interface with good signal strength to your base unit and far enough that you're gonna get the benefit of devices that are, let's say, connecting from the second or third story of your house, being able to get a stronger signal to their closest Wi-Fi access point. Now, in an ideal scenario, you would actually, where did I put that Ethernet cable? What? You would run wires between your original one uh, and your satellite ones, which would mean that you've got all of your Wi-Fi available for your devices. But because these things have so many bands and such wide bands and they can use bands concurrently, it is far less of a concern than it used to be. The lower latency of MLO is in my opinion, the biggest deal because most of the time, I don't need to upload something at 1.4 gigabit per second from my cell phone. That's not the key benefit. The key benefit is that if there's any congestion, it can actually use one of the other bands to get that packet through. So when you're say, for example, gaming, you are going to get a more consistent experience using Wi-Fi 7. 
course, you're going to need a Wi-Fi 7 enabled client. What else is there to talk about in here? They've got some convenience features like the ability to set up a separate network for guests or IoT devices. Uh, it supports Matter, actually, speaking of IoT devices. Parental controls, so you can either manage that on a network level or they have an app that you can install on your kids' phones. Uh, what else are we looking at in here? All the usual stuff, QoS, port forwarding. Oh, hey, LED control. Dude, you can turn it off at night. Hey, I like that. If I've got one of these in my theater room or in my bedroom or something like that, I want it off at night. I love that. It's $600 regular price for this. And we actually have a $50 off coupon. You can check that out down below. But if you don't live in a three-story building or if you're a you know small business or something like that, you could probably get by with just one of these, which I already showed you guys is really flipping fast. That's gonna cost you $210. And considering you're getting Wi-Fi 7, you're getting the app-based setup and everything else that we showed is a lot more palatable. And if you're living in, honestly, an apartment, even a small detached house, you're probably gonna get by with that. And then you can always go get one more or another one more. Just don't get too many. We actually did a video recently where we showed what happens if you have too many Wi-Fi access points. It's really, really bad. Thanks again to TP-Link for sponsoring this video. Subscribe to Short Circuit.